Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different along with uh, some reviews. This is a coloring book, coloring the 80s that I got, I believe, from the Dollar Tree. That was pretty cool. I uh, was an 80s kid, so picked it up, you know, very, uh, very 80s. So we're gonna do some color commentary. So it's not exactly color commentary, we're gonna be coloring, doing some commentary. And also, uh, we will be sipping on Stash Peppermint Herbal Tea. This is very good, it's caffeine free. Teach you like tea. Of course, peppermint has lots of good properties. Okay. Where the camera will stay where it needs to be. Actually, all these things you can get at Dollar Tree. You can get a 24 pack of Crayola and pencils. So, you do want to get the Crayola. There's going to be another brand at Dollar Tree that you really want to stay away from. Yeah, you may get more, but they're really, really bad quality. And it's, it's just not worth it. So, I am by no means an artist whatsoever. Just want to do something different. Let's see uh, what do we get here. We got, looks like a purple, a blue, a yellow, orange, and a red, so. And, oh, and a green and a black, so you, and a brown. So everything you really need, that's nice. These are down here. So for the commentary, just go over some common sense things that I always thought were common sense. You know, as you go through life and you talk to different people, do different jobs, you find out some things are not common sense. You thought, <laughs> maybe everyone knew. So, so if we look in the 80s, the 80s of course were a decade of excess. Great cartoons, great comic books, a lot of, a lot of good things growing up in the 80s. Uh, also a lot of bad things that we think are great. <laughs> like, um, all the breakfast cereal we used to eat, not not very good for anyone. Um, they also had the milk campaign, you know, milk does a body good. Eh, there's some debate on that. <laughs> so well, you do need vitamin D, of course. So like I said, I'm, no, I'm not even good at coloring, really. I stayed on the lines because I have no patience whatsoever. But it's something to do. So... The other, speaking of common sense things, talking to people. So buying a house, if you're in that bracket or time in your life where you're looking to buy a house, some people uh, during, I guess it was the Bush Junior era, you know, the housing market was pretty crazy. And people were like, buy, 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 buy. So I, I myself bought at the end of the bubble, but probably should have waited as well. But there was a, a rule of thumb growing up that stated you cannot afford a house that is three times your income. Meaning, if you make, uh, say you're doing really well and you're making 100,000 a year. So you're making 100,000 a year, right? That means the max you can buy or max you can spend on a house would be $300,000. So, of course, like I said, I thought that was a thing. Talking to other people, maybe <clears throat> he said he had never heard of that rule. Uh, there's also the common sense rule of having six months of savings in case you lose your job, which is definitely easier said than done. Uh, I did not grow up uh, on that rule, so that was something I, uh, I had learned from listening to other people talk. But you know, other people talk is just that, so you gotta take everything with a grain of salt and figure out what's best for you. But some of this sound advice, uh, I don't think you should overspend on a, on a house. You know you can't afford it. There's a thing called predatory lending, which I disagree with. I actually got in a, a few arguments over that. Because um, my feeling is, it's your responsibility to know where your money is going. So yeah, it's, a person selling you something is never your friend and they, they want your money, they want what you have. So they're gonna tell you almost anything you want to hear to get that deal done. 
So predatory lending amplified that since I guess there was no regulation at the time on the housing and the real estate market and shady stuff was being done. But you know what? That is still your fault if you decided to like, hey, I make $300,000, I'm gonna buy a $800,000 house. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Even if they tell you, oh, your payment will only be uh, $1,000 a month for a seven year arm. But after that seven years, you're probably paying only interest only anyway. It could balloon up to market price, which could be high, it could be lower. So either way, it's not a good situation to be in. But people say, oh, these cut you a good deal to tell you everything under the sun, but they're still selling you something. So you have to do your due diligence to make sure you are not getting screwed over because they are selling you something that <laughs> they're selling their goods and they want to get it the highest price they can. That's how you know the market works. So car salesmen, you know, they want always a buddy buddy, share stories about their kids and their family. You gotta remember if you do buy a car, you're probably never gonna see that person again. Maybe ever. And maybe you're like you have a car dealership you go to and they've worked there forever. So maybe we'll see them every five years, I don't know. Even then, they are definitely out for themselves. And that's okay because you know they have a family support and if they can take all your money, that is your fault. So those are a couple of common sense things that I've came across just here and there. Making this uh, well, this is just like a uh, it's definitely a Lamborghini. And it has a Denton. So I'm guessing it's a I think it's a Coutintosh. I don't think it's a Diablo. I don't know, it's kind of close to a Diablo, which is my favorite Lamborghini. Although these seem to come in yellow a lot, which I am not a fan of. So, coloring is your thing. You can go to Dollar Tree, pick up some coloring books, along with other, um, we have a educational material for younger, younger kids as well but it's getting slimmer due to the state of the world. It looks like people have kind of caught on to that. So I would go now, if you want to grab anything like that, just have on hand, you know, for your you know, rainy day situations, or it's a nice day today, I'm just doing this anyway. But I'm interested to know if any of you people watching Triple R um, have heard anything like that or have any other common sense advice you can leave down in the comments or and even if you disagree with what I said I know a lot of people are really um, adamant about predatory lending and stuff like that and you know you can't take it with you so spend, the, spend everything you can I mean that's one way to live there's nothing wrong with that I guess as long as you're not hurting anybody including yourself so that is um, the only common sense commentary I got off the top of my head. Um, I do want to give a shout out to Slim Comics and more. Um, along with, there's some other people I need a shout out to that have um, actually gave me shout outs on their channel, which I appreciate. So there's the only Slim Comics and more, and uh, I will make sure look up the other ones and on future videos continue to give shout outs actually um anyway, I'm gonna grab my phone Hold on. all right I found it like I said it's slim comics and more and um another guy that gave me a shout out which I appreciate is Gary B the casual comic guy so check him out both those guys do a lot of uh, comic book reveal um, covers and um, boxes you get on the weekly so very fun to watch I uh, collected comics as a kid watching these guys kind of makes me want to do it again but uh, I don't know if I, <laughs> I collect enough stuff as is right now so I get a couple of mystery things here and there but I'm kind of unlucky in that 
I don't know. It's, we've been okay. I shouldn't say unlucky. We've been all right. I know what I'll get into. So overall, I guess I, I'm more satisfied than maybe not with the, the mystery box thing. And they're always fun to open. So check those guys out. Um, I will have to look up some other future people. Give some shout outs to. Um, so the comic book community has been pretty cool, from what I can tell. Always uh, supportive of each other, which is nice to see on YouTube. And like I said, check those guys out. They're going to probably lead you to even more cool comic book people. See a lot of cool cover art. If you were an 80s kid, or even if not, um, what is your favorite exotic sports car? If you have one, you can put it in the comments below. Comments always help out channels. So good to go to a channel you support or watch a lot just leave any comment say cool or nice job or something like that it does help them out myself included all right i'll do for color, color commentary one we'll come back to the background another time thanks for watching triple r